I don't want to see private homes for, for elderly people flourish the way it has because it's been a disaster, a national disaster. We're now at a position where they're holding the government to ransom. Private nursing homes are not properly investigated and never will be because the power of the money and the, the, the role of the, of the big fat cats who run them is, has created a situation where everybody backs off. Lindhouse Group have been everywhere to the GMC to try and make Dr. Chai Patel responsible for what happened in his 92 nursing homes. The result of that is that he managed to get himself off on a technicality. They didn't find him innocent, but he did get off on a technicality. Now we're embroiled with the nursing council and facing the same battles again. Lindhouse have ta tackled the Sea Sky and all the various other agencies that are there to protect the elderly and they've learned a bitter, bitter lesson that these agencies aren't there to protect the elderly. They're there to protect the people who profit from the elderly from any kind of responsibility. Ultimately, I want the National Health Service to go back to taking care of the elderly. I want to see that in, there is a climate in the next few years of such disgust at the profits that are being made by the suffering of people who have to go into nursing homes, that eventually we will look back at this time and think of it as the Dark Ages. Why did the people who run this country allow this to happen? It's a source of great shame. I travel all over the world talking about violence to fragile people. And as far as England's concerned, other countries where they care passionately about their elderly, they shake their head in wonderment to what is happening here, this torrent of abuse that is in our daily papers, on our news, in newspapers, on television. It is, a, it is a, a terrible, terrible indictment of how we live in the 21st century.